it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a Chinese colouring and art book for you. You can see how big it is up against Joanna's Christmas. And it is very thick and heavy because it's a two books. Comes with this little insert to keep both the books together. So we've got a little fold out cover there, red protective cover, and then the artwork, which is just stunning. This is all printed on a glossy paper, a light gloss. Now it doesn't really fold over that well, but it needs a good spine cracking. You can see how gorgeous this artwork is. It's just divine. And I've just given the spine a good crack. And now it's folding over a lot better. But aren't these pictures beautiful and dreamy? I just, I love the, the skill that goes into creating something so beautiful. Look at all the colours in that dress. And just the colours in the horse. gorgeous book. Even this limited colour, it's, it's just beautiful. Just with her brown hair, it's really stands out against the watercolour type effect on here. Ooh, those pixies. Look at this rainbow look. There's just so many ideas for your own colouring books. Look at the glow on that lamp. It's just beautiful. And we've also got the colouring book, which I'll show you in a second. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can do. This is that cover art. Now we've got like a winter scene. Looks cold. Look at his ears. Some beautiful merman and mermaid. Then at the back we've got the thumbnails. And I'm gathering that this is probably about the artist or the story. And so now let's look at the colouring book. So we've got the cover art on the cover. Now this is a matte cover and it is getting a little bit grubby. If you're going to use it regularly, I'd consider covering it with plastic maybe. Black protective paper. And then we've got the actual artwork. Now you can see it's printed on a black background and it's grey. And 
I'm not overly positive that this is meant to be a colouring book or perhaps just a, you know, a line art illustration book. I'm not really sure, but I am definitely going to colour it. Now, the paper is a medium quality, but it's on the lighter end. So I would definitely only be using pencils and I'd be popping a protective paper about it. Now, it does say on it, Art Collection Art collection black and then the other one says art collection color so obviously color printing and this one is black printing but it doesn't actually say it's a coloring book but I really do assume that you can color it and I, I certainly will be coloring it now even though the artwork looks like it was created in watercolor a lot of it I certainly wouldn't be using watercolour on this unless you either prepared the page or you're really light with water, but I would definitely test it out somewhere else because the paper is not hugely thick and it may well peel. Now it's quite smooth and when we don't have that black background we've got like an off-white paper and it's really black a lot of solidity there but also quite a soft grey scale and line art in the other illustrations. It's a really different book and a nice little collection. I'm really glad that I got it because it's it's different and you know I like different things. Some of it's so black I'm not sure that you know anything I do with pencil will actually cover it. But I can always, I guess, uh, you know, leave it like that. Now, just like the other one, the spine does need a good crack. Oh. I think I need Mr. Muscles to do this one. I must be worn out from doing the other one. So I can't get it to really crack down as much as I want. And you'll see the illustrations, despite the cover, they're not exactly as what was in the other book. So they're different. So it's like a, one's an art book and, you know, one's a black and white illustration book. But you do get ideas from the art book, so I guess that's why they're sold as a package. But these illustrations aren't in the colour book, unless I'm going completely mad. And that's a possibility. <laughs> So much detail on this. Such fine lines. I'm sure there's probably a story being told here or because you've got these longing looks and howling at the moon. I'm sure there's some sort of theme.
But I wish that we had coloured illustrations of these books, but they are beautiful, beautiful illustrations. And some illustration books, you know, they're not meant to, they're not sold or marketed as colouring books, but it doesn't mean that you can't colour them. Lovely double page spread there. Look at that soft grey scar and the softness of the smoke. So there we have it, the Chinese art collection in colour and black and white. The links to buy it are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.